What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today, let's talk to Air Jordan 7, white, infrared. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I start a new life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. All right, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. All right, so let's dive in today's video. Just like I said in the intro, man, we're talking to Air Jordan 7, white, infrared. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over today. We're gonna be answering a basic old question. Are they drip or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release June 30th to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $200, right? Okay, and of course, you know the kid glance at the resale price, and right now look like they're going below retail, averaging $170 and up, depending on the size, right? Okay, now white infrared. If you're like the kid, instantly when I think of this, I think of the Air Jordan 6 white infrared, and I also think of the black infrared 6s, right? Okay, one's black, one's white, but now we got like an Air Jordan 7 version, right? Okay, seems like Jordan brand has tried to do this time and time again where the shoe was in hit, it was a hit like in the 6s, and then they try to make it spin off into a 7, right? Okay, which I'll say this, when it comes to like the favoritism of the Jordan brand silhouettes, and y'all take this with a grain of salt. When it comes to the sevens, they're not the most favorite, along with the tens, along with the twos, right? Okay, but we're gonna talk about the sevens because that's the title of the video, right? I will say this. Now, before y'all chop my head off, sevens is arguably, in my opinion, one of the most comfortable sneakers Jordan 7 sneakers, like, I'll say this, one of the most comfortable sevens, like, I'll say this, I'm saying it all wrong. One of the most comfortable sneakers out of the Jordan brand line, right? Okay, and I'm talking one through 14, that's what we kind of keep up with. But I will say this, the sevens arguably could be the, one of the most comfortable sneakers, along with the tens, along with the tools. But is it the most appealing shoe? Debatable. Now I have seen some bigger sneaker YouTubers where they say like the Air Jordan 7s is their favorite silhouette. By all means, I can see why. I mean, really, there's nothing really wrong with the shoe. Why does it get not enough? It doesn't get hate, but it doesn't, it doesn't get that major love, right? Okay, now I will say this. Me, personally, the OG side of me, because y'all know I'm in the middle, right? I will say this. I can't help but feel some type of way because I'm like, just give us the white infrared sixes versus the white infrared sevens. Now, I will say this, there's not much major difference, but it's enough differences where it's gotta definitely make you do like a double take like I did, right, okay? So when I first looked at these, I'm like, man, this is the six, no, it's not the sixes, it's the sevens. Overall, not a bad shoe, but personally, I feel like it's nothing to write home about, but I will give Jordan brand and Nike brand the credit here. Perfect, another good release for summer. Jordan Brand has been on it as far as keeping us right for summertime, right? Okay, I will say this, as far as like the, I guess where I'm at in my sneaker collection career, because I know about the infrared sixes, that's how I feel, that's why I feel some type of way about the sevens. Now, as far as like the generation under me and the generation underneath that, I can see why they give this shoe a lot of love, the sevens, right? Okay, so really, it's kind of one of those shoes it's really a preference shoe at the end of the day. And yes, we can say that about any shoe at the end of the day, but this is one of those like, it truly rolls down to pretty much what generation did you grow up in if you ask the kid, right? Okay, now, do I see these selling out? Over time, yes. You know what I'm saying? I think these are gonna be good. You know, pretty much, even though the color is technically infrared, but to me, in my naked eye, when I look at these joints, white and pink, right? Okay, let's just keep it 100, right? I'm just gonna keep it 100, but, with all that being said, we're gonna just, out of respect, out of Jordan brand and Nike, infrared, right? So for the kid, not a bad shoe, but if I gotta choose, I would prefer to have the infrared sixes over the sevens. So for me, they will be a skip. Not a bad shoe, it's just that if I didn't know about the infrared sixes, I would definitely want these white infrared sevens. But for the kid, these will be a skip. But I wanna know what you guys think down in the comment section. Will, be, will you be going after these on June 30th, retailing at $200? And of course, let me know if you think they're drip 
or skip. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out. <laughs>